What's up guys, this is Coach Trey and today we're going to train our forearms. Another great exercise that you can do in any gym, all you need is a winding handle. So for everyone who watches this channel first time or doesn't know what winding handle, this is winding handle. So you basically reel it in and when you try to curl it, it adds more tension not only on your grip, on your wrist, but on your fingers. So it's trying to slip out and you need to hold it so it adds that extra tension for your forearms to get stronger to grow. If you don't have winding handle, I highly recommend it. You can buy it from uh, Country Crush, from Mazarenko, from Armsport, or you can do it as we did, made it by ourselves. There are a lot of variations how you can train your forearms. I'm just gonna show you one where we're using a bench. So on a bench, the tension is going downwards. Some guys will argue, why not do it only on table, on cable, because it's more, more closer to arm sling position. The thing is, when we're doing anything on cable, we have stretch in our forearm, which is good. But every time we curl it in, we're not having that full range of motion experience, where we cannot get inside all the way, because some parts of your forearm are stronger, some parts are weaker. So I'm not saying just to do one of these variations, I'm saying to do both of them. So let's say for two weeks, you're gonna do variation with this handle on table, just doing like normal curls, and then two weeks you're gonna do it on, uh, on a bench. And after you go back to the table, you will see improvements, not only in strength, but maybe even in muscles. So the way to grow, is to beat adaptation, is to, is to think something new, is to get you out of the ordinary. So I will show this variation, I really like it because here I can work basically to my one rep max and it adds so much tension on your wrist, it's, it's really good exercise, I really like to do it. So let's get to the exercise. So I'm sitting down, taking a grip, either I'm leaning forward to one side, being closer to arm wrestling position or standing a little bit upwards so it's it's really depending on how you want to work today i usually do it on side so it's more closer to arm wrestling position so here the variations you can do you can do full range of motion letting your wrist out but not letting your fingers out and going full range of motion up in the bottom position i like to squeeze do a little squeeze and then slowly going back control is the key of this exercise other variation is doing just a half arm sling motion. You will stop when your wrist is straight and you will only go upwards. Do a pause there and slowly going down. You can take your arms in the cup grip, not in full grip as well. It, it's really depending on you, how you wanna work. I really like this exercise. You can add a lot of weight, a lot of real weight. When you're doing anything in cable, you know, cable takes like a half away. So when you're doing 100 kilos, it's actually 50 kilos. When you're doing 20 kilos here, it's 20 kilos. So guys, this is another easy exercise that you can do to work on your forearms. All you need is a winding handle. As I said, you can buy it from Mazarenko, Armsport, Country Crush, or make it by yourself. I recommend doing from three up to six sets and how many reps you want. You can do, let's say, three sets of 10 and uh, then uh, two sets of five and one set of 20. It's really depending on how you wanna work. Because guys always asking me how many sets and reps should I do? It's usually three to four sets, eight to 12 reps. So it's, it's really easy when you wanna get the hypertrophy, but you should switch it up. You can do the last set will be the burnout set. It's really depending on you. I hope this video helped you with your forearm training. This is not only arm wrestling specific, this is overall training as well. Stay strong and love arm wrestling.